Thanks. Hey, buddy. Mr. H. How are you doing, man? Good to see you. I'm glad you could be here. Man, me too. This is fantasy camp. Why don't you say we should go check them out? I'd love to. Okay, man. We're really lucky in America we have this iconic sports car that's so world renowned. It's fun to watch it evolve. It's fun to see, you know, you can watch it evolve out here actually, right in this building. <laughs> you can see the evolution of it right, right before your very eyes. To me, it, it is a piece of art. It's a piece of America. Yeah. You know, I, I love that old heartbeat of America, yeah. Chevrolet, and, uh, and Corvette is the heartbeat of America. And, and you see some of the older cars that people travel all over the world to find 55s and 56 yep. or a 57 yep. uh, fuelly. It's amazing how many people Corvette has touched over the years. And it's a lot like a guitar. I mean, yeah. we talk about the love of these of cars and guitars, and there's something about the styling of a, of a guitar with the sort of accent pieces and the curves, and I don't know, they're very similar. Well, what do you think about the new C7? I think they have outdone themselves. I cannot believe what a car that is. It took, I think, the, the necessary steps to become modern, and, it, and at the same time, it has so many cues to, to the various uh, incarnations over the years. And I think about, see, I wasn't around when, um, obviously, when the 63 split window and that body style came out, but that had to feel like a leap. Oh, man, yeah. I mean, I can't imagine what it was like the first time you saw one of those go down the road in the 60s. They still don't look like anything else.